Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we're gonna check a kit from ICM which is modded in 1 16th scale and he's part of the new series which is called the Wolves Guards and this time it copies a British Grenadier uh, Queen's Guards as you can see on the box art. As you can see the bo box itself is oriented in a vertical axis. Here you can see comparison with my hand size. It's quite a big box I would say. Uh, on the side it's written that this box contains 28 parts for the assembly of one figurine and that's pretty much all, some safety advices and some nice badges. So as you can see the box structure is typical for the ICM so we have cover printed uh, top part and sturdy uh, thick cardboard box which should protect everything inside. Uh, here we can see what's inside, just give me a second. I will remove everything out of the box and we will check it closer. Okay, so uh, first we will start from the plastic bag with all plastic parts which are necessary for the figurine assembly. As you can see there are plenty of them. Why? Because here we have a special stand for the figurine. As you can see uh, those parts are molded out of the back plastic but they copy uh, different types of the pattern. Uh, it can be a plain plastic, plain uh, let's say smooth panel, it can be cobblestone with different patterns and even the, the one which copies asphalt. As, I, as far as I can see. On the other side there is almost nothing so that's pretty much all for this sprue. Uh, next we have large sprue with uh, figurine parts. As you can see molding quality is typical for the ICM so we have no flash or any other possible damage. Uh, What's interesting here is for example the separately molded face of the guard. I will zoom camera for you so that you can see. Here it is. So facial feature look more or less nice. And of course they will require some careful painting in order to get a realistic appearance. Inside figurine is empty. Note that halves don't have uh, positioning elements. Uh, but this is true for the trousers where we have position pins which should help with alignment. And as you can see this sprue is also quite interesting. Next we have large part. Again give me a second. Which is packed into the separate plastic bag. And is a part of the figurine stand. As you can see we have here a special empty spot here um, where you will be able to insert all those uh, panels with different surfaces which we saw before. This is a quite nice addition, I mean you don't usually see the figurine stands included into the kit. And the last sprue is also very unusual, why? Because it is dedicated only to the rifle, as you can see rifle was molded as a one piece and together with a knife and it looks quite quite impressive, I would say. Of course, it will require some careful painting too, but uh, in this scale, it should look astonishing. So that's all for this video review. Uh, I guess we covered pretty much all parts. The only thing I can show you is assembly manual, which is printed on the sheet of paper. As you can see here, we have a parts map paints chart and then we have assembly guide which is combined together with a marking guide. As you can see there are even separate sections for the different insignia on the soldier. And on the bottom of the box I can see a small poster, here it is, which can be considered as a nice addition for this kit. So now we are over, uh, as usual you can check full review article on our website where you will find detailed photos and also text in, in Russian and English. Don't forget to like this video uh, by pressing the like button below. 
Uh, also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all those reviews on time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.